The Bavarian Illuminati was founded by Jesuit priest Adam Weishaupt in the year 1776 with the funding of the House of Rothschild. The following year, Weishaupt was initiated as a Freemason at the Lage Theater vom Gutenrat in Munich. He soon realized the potential of the Masonic Lodges as a recruiting grounds for his own secret society and directed members of the order to begin illuminating Freemasonic Lodges throughout Germany and later Europe. After the dissolution, the Masonic rites of strict observance at the 1782 Masonic Congress of Wilmsbad, Weishaupt and Baron von Kennegy were surely able to snatch up old strict observance members and increased membership in the Bavarian Illuminati to around 3,000 members. The Illuminati soon had illuminated lodges in France, Italy, Sweden, Belgium, Holland, Denmark, Poland, and Hungary. This is when Adam Weishaupt constructed one of the most sinister plans in history. The seven-part plan called for the abolition of all order governments, abolition of private property, abolition of inheritance, abolition of patriotism, abolition of the family, abolition of religion, and creation of a new world order. We have all this information because in 1785, an Illuminati courier named Lanza was struck by lightning and killed while traveling by horseback through the town of Radisbon. When Bavarian officials examined the contents of the saddlebags, they discovered the existence of the Order of the Illuminati and found the plans detailing the coming French Revolution. The Bavarian government attempted to alert the government of France of the impending disaster, but the French government failed to heed this warning. Bavarian officials arrested all members of the Illuminati they could find, but Weishaupt and others had gone underground and could not be found. Former Illuminati member John Robison, professor of natural history at Edinburgh University in Scotland, published a book entitled Proofs of a Conspiracy, in which he reveals that Adam Weishaupt had attempted to recruit him and many others in his diabolical aims to control the world under the Illuminati. In the year 1800, in a letter to the Reverend James Madison, Thomas Jefferson dismisses the anti-Illuminati conspiracy theories and paints Weishaupt as a utopian idealist in the tradition of William Godwin. Later that year, Thomas Jefferson was elected President of the United States. In the 1820s, Mayor Amschel Rothschild financed the Bavarian Illuminati and expressed his utter contempt for national governments which attempted to regulate international bankers such as him. Quote, Allow me to issue and control the money of a nation, and I care not who writes the laws. End quote. After the death of Adam Weishaupt in 1830, the Illuminati began looking for another central leader who was also a Masonic occultist, just like them. Alleged 33rd degree Freemason Giuseppe Mazzini fit the bill. After showing off his ability and strength to wrestle Italy away from the unholy Roman Empire and basically hand it over to the Illuminati, Mazzini founded a group of revolutionaries called Young Italy in 1831, one year after Adam Weishaupt's death. Their goal was to free Italy from the control of monarchy and the Pope. They succeeded, and Mazzini was honored as a patriot in Italy. However, in the process of liberating Italy, the bloodletting organization known as the Mafia was born. This shows the ties between the Mafia and the Illuminati. Mazzini was selected by the Illuminati to lead their organization and took the reins of their worldwide operations beginning in 1834. During his leadership, Mazzini enticed an American occultist and Freemason named Albert Pike into joining the upper echelon of the Illuminati. When invited by Mazzini, he readily agreed to join. Pike was then made head of the Illuminati operations in the United States. Mazzini could sense an extra powerful occult nature about Pike and tasked him to write the, an occultic book that guided the transition from average high-ranking Mason into top-ranking Illuminati Mason, that of the 33rd degree. Pike then penned what is considered the modern-day Freemasonic Bible called Morals and Dogma. This book was used by the Illuminati as a Pied Piper to bring Freemasonic Lodges in the United States under their control, where before the Illuminati had operated mainly out of the Columbia Lodge. Albert Pike is known for a few other things as well. He is a Confederate general and a founding member of the KKK. But I also think it's pretty odd that Albert Pike is the only Confederate general with an honorary statue on federal property in Washington, D.C., but he was not honored for being a commander or even as a lawyer, 
But for being the southern regional leader of the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, the statue stands on a pedestal near the foot of the Capitol Hill between the Department of Labor building and the Municipal Building between 3rd and 4th Streets on D Street Northwest. Pike was Grandmaster of a Luciferian group known as the Order of Paladum Sovereign Council of Wisdom, which had been founded in Paris in 1737. Paladism had been brought into the Great Plan from Egypt by Pythagoras in the 5th century BC, and it was the cult of Satan that was introduced in the inner circles of the Masonic Lodges in the early 1800s. You can follow the existence of the Illuminati through the 1800s and early 1900s through the Library of Congress. Just go to the Library of Congress website and search Illuminati, and it'll bring up hundreds of old newspapers where you can follow the timeline of their recruitment centers through Masonic Lodges and other organizations. In 1967, Jewish broadcaster Myron C. Fagan described with documentary evidence how the Illuminati became the instrument of the House of Rothschild to achieve a one-world government, and how every war during the past two centuries was fomented by this Illuminati. He describes how one Jacob H. Schiff was sent to the United States by the Rothschilds to further the Illuminati plot, and how Schiff plotted to get control of both the Democrat and Republican parties how Schiff seduced our Congress and our presidents to achieve control of our entire money system and create the income tax cancer, and how Schiff and his co-conspirators created the Council of Foreign Relations to control our elected officials to gradually drive the U.S. into becoming an enslaved unit of the United Nations One World Government. This is Kristan T. Harris with The Rundown Live and Dap Mystery School. Make sure you guys download the Rundown Live app. It's available free on your Android, iTunes, iPhone, Windows, and Amazon platforms. Get it on your cell phone and tablet today. And don't forget to visit therundownlive.com.